These are my top six favorite new features in iOS 15. Welcome you hoodlums to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And I have been beta testing iOS 15 since Apple announced it at its annual developer conference. And there's a lot of really cool features coming your way with this update that is available right now. This very second, you can download it on your own iPhone. So as you are downloading the update and waiting, or maybe you've already done the update and you wanna know what is cool and awesome, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna talk about it right now in this video. Starting off the feature I love, but I think will still be underutilized with iOS 15, and that's focus. For the longest time, Apple has had a feature in iOS called Do Not Disturb. You could enable it or schedule Do Not Disturb mode, and it would give you much needed peace and quiet from notifications, phone calls, text messages, whether it was while you were driving, trying to be productive, or just trying to get some sleep. With iOS 15, Apple takes it to the next level with a feature called Focus. Focus is essentially a more powerful version of Do Not Disturb, where you can create your own different types of focus. If I'm doing one task, I will allow these notifications to come through. If I'm doing another task, I want these. The easiest ones being maybe your personal time versus work time. If I have my work focus on, I can still receive phone calls and text messages, or maybe I just want ones from coworkers. Um, but I can also allow Slack messages, emails, Trello updates, and any other work productivity notifications that I want to allow. And then after hours, I can switch to my personal focus and I can get um, social media alerts, text messages, phone calls, whatever else that I want to go through that I try to block when I'm trying to focus at work. And you can create multiple different of these focus modes. While you're working out, you can have uh, certain notifications and alerts come through. While you're reading, playing games, mindfulness, uh, sleeping, like all of these different modes you can create. When you open up Control Center and you can see the new focus icon, there is a focus in the day where it kind of gives you a description of what the focus modes are, but there's also a list of the different focus modes below that. So Apple pre-builds some of them for you, such as just generic do not disturb, sleep mode, driving mode, personal, and work. But again, you can create your own personal focus modes um, that are really tailored to the activity that you're trying to do. Also, and this is amazingly cool, is your focus can be shown in messages. So if I'm in the middle of work and I don't you know, want to be interrupted and I set my focus mode to that and I'm preventing text from coming in, family and friends can see that I'm in my work focus and I'm not receiving text at this time. So it's basically kind of like an I am status. It's very cool and I'm excited to see it come with focus here in iOS 15. Next favorite feature, and please do not come at me for this, I'm digging the new Safari. The biggest thing that I love is the change of the status bar. The fact that that smart URL bar is now located at the bottom is so much easier to control, especially with a larger iPhone 13 Pro Max. You can see everything at the bottom, you can control everything at the bottom, and I don't have to reach up to the top of the screen or pull down or anything like that. It just makes it much more convenient to get access to. I know there are criticisms of the new Safari. I know things can be cramped and some things are weird, but overall, I really like the new version of Safari, at least improvements to the mobile UI. It's very handy. There's other problems with iPad and with the Mac, but on iOS, iOS 15, I'm liking the updated Safari so far. There's also tab groups that can sync between your devices and support for extensions. Now we have live text. Have you ever looked at something and wanted to take note of it? You're looking at a sign with a phone number on it, perhaps a business card. There are different apps that can kind of pull that information in. But with iOS 15, Apple has live text. You can pull out information, text, contact info, date from photos or directly from the camera app. And so many times I've tried to copy text from something and it wasn't copyable. It was just an image. But with iOS 15 and live text, Anywhere there's text, I can copy it, or I can screenshot something and copy text then. It is so cool to do. 
and has built-in translation. So if you're traveling abroad and you see a menu or something in a foreign language, you're able to select text and translate it right there from in live view. It is very easy to do and such an amazing feature coming to iOS 15. Let's talk about iCloud Plus. iCloud Plus is a new feature coming to all of Apple's platforms and have a number of enhancements for users. There's Private Relay, which is kind of like an Apple VPN that'll help encrypt traffic going through Safari. We also have custom domain names. I did an entire video on showing how you to create your own custom domain name through iCloud. So if I wanted to have you know, me at andrewohara.com, I can buy that domain name and then add it to iCloud and I can receive and send emails from that custom domain. And it can be shared with the entire family and not just me. So if I had a whole family domain, like the O'Hara clan, I could share that with my wife or parents or anything like that that was in my family sharing. So private relay and custom domains are coming with iCloud Plus. We're also getting new features like improved support for HomeKit secure video cameras. Now instead of five, if you're on that two terabit plan, you can have unlimited cameras with HomeKit secure video. So I can have more than five all around my house, which is very easy to do. And they now support package detection alongside animals, vehicles, and people. Finally, Apple has hide my email. So anytime you're going somewhere and you need to enter your email address, instead of having to give them your email address, you can use hide my email and it'll give them a randomized email instead that can be sent to your inbox, which you can cut off access to at any time. I've also been loving shared with you. Shared with you is where people can send you things and then they show up in the corresponding apps surfaced so that you can find them. Say my wife sends me a news article, next time I go into the news app, there's a new shared for you section where I can see articles that she has shared with me. It also works in music, so if she sends me a song she likes, if I go into the music app, I can see the songs that she shared with me. So it works in news, it works in Safari with links, it works with photos, it works with podcasts, it works with the TV app, all these different places throughout the OS. Of course, it also works on iPad, Apple TV, Mac, just across the Apple universe. It makes it really easy to track those things down and see them when it's relevant, when you're in the apps that they correspond to. So shared with you another huge feature coming with iOS 15. Finally, we have new improvements coming to Find My. For instance, your iPhone. Whenever you turn off your iPhone, Find My will now work for 24 hours. If I lose my device, I can still track it down even if the device is off. I can also get left behind alerts. So if I'm going somewhere with my iPad Pro and I leave and my iPad Pro is still there, I will get an alert on my iPhone and Apple Watch that I left my iPad Pro. It also works with AirTag, which is huge. Walk out of the house and I have an AirTag in my wallet, I got an alert that I left my wallet behind before I get too far. Or if you're out and about and you go, go to leave without you know, leaving your wallet on the table of a restaurant, again, you can be alerted. So it's very handy and it'll now work with AirPods as well. So it'll work with AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, uh, and you can get left behind alerts. You can also see them on the Find My interface. And if you leave them somewhere, someone else can send that location back to you anonymously. So they don't even know that they've done it, but they've helped you find your AirPods that you may have lost. So a lot of the new features coming to Find My. There's also real time tracking for family and friends. So if you have fr friends or family that you're sharing locations with, in the Find My app, instead of just rough locations or having to wait a little bit over time, you can see the real time location as they're moving. That makes it much more easy to find people. You're at a festival trying to figure out where each other is in the park. It's real time now. It makes just a world of a difference. So that's it. Those are, I think, my favorite new features coming with iOS 15, but there's a whole lot more that I didn't touch on. Literally like over a hundred features coming in this update. There's a lot of really cool, fun stuff to play with. So keep your eyes peeled to Apple Insider. We've done a ton of guides on all the new features. Let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU what your favorite new feature coming to iOS 15 is.